Yeah, baby, we're back to MTD CNC North America. I'm with my buddy Harit today, and I'd like to share a story with you, or more importantly, he'd like to share a story with you about starting a business, the courage it takes, and that it's not too overwhelming, it's not too much of a task. But before we get into that, I'd like to share a little bit more about who Harit is, how he came into the business through a family owning a machine shop for the last 30 years, him recently graduate, graduating from college and starting his own machine shop, which we need more of. We really do. We need more people in this industry. So Harit, thank you for being in this industry and thank you for sharing your story with MTD CNC. Thank you for uh, taking an interview with me. It's an absolute pleasure. So let's start about 30 years your company's been in business, your family company has been in business. And what's your first memory coming into the industry as a young boy? So our business is primarily revolved around injection molding. So uh, about a decade ago, uh, we used to have a bunch of mold makers in our shop. And we had this primary mold maker. Uh, and, uh, what, and I was most connected with him uh, because he's our oldest, oldest guy for in our shop to be there. And so... We used to have, you know, the, the old knee mills and the whole uh, hand turning blades. And so I used to, as a kid, when I was around 10, he used to take my hand and, you know, let me cut something that he was, whatever he was doing, he used to take my hand, you know, let me feel how it is to cut something on, uh, on the knee mill or on the lathe. And uh, it, was a, it was just a, that, like, light switch in your mind. It's like, oh, I want to do this in my life type of thing. And... From that experience, did you kind of already have an idea of what you wanted to do when you grew up? Or did you originally want to play baseball or cricket or rugby or something like that and you accidentally came? Or has this always been a dream of yours? Uh, you know, as a kid, when you grow up, you get like, oh, I want to be a race car driver. Oh, I want to fly to the moon type of thing. But uh, for me, it was just a, a feel thing where, you know, as I grow up, my dad's always emphasized that you should start looking to what you want to do in the future. And um, just, just that moment that I said, it was just, just that light switch in me that like, oh, I want to do something in my life where I can make stuff. And I primarily was enjoying making stuff, whether it be, you know, the good old Legos or, um, or anything of that sort of nature. Just putting things together was just my, my, uh, just my haven. I understand. I'm a, I'm a big Lego fan, actually, myself. I, as a kid, built everything. Now, you've recently... Graduated from college. Yes. Where did you go to school? I went to Cal Poly Pomona and I graduated uh, in a mechanical engineering degree uh, two years ago. That is awesome. And you have recently started your own business, right? Yes. So uh, we just bought two brand new pieces of equipment, CNC, uh, basic CNC lathe and a mill. And uh, well, when we're not making injection molding, which is primarily what we're revolved around, uh, I've taken the opportunity while those machines sit to start my own business, uh, doing machining work, you know, subcontracting, internal machining, and I was able to successfully find you know machine work, and right now there's a high demand for it, and um, and so just uh, just a single man, uh, my dad gave me the uh, inspiration to start my own company, so I went out and grabbed a, a name, an LLC, and just basically went out, ventured, and a lot of my now clients are really inspired by my story and my aptitude for machining has just evolved over the over the year I learned and so um, just found a uh, demand for it firstly let me just say congratulations and well done I gave Thank you some you. love for that I appreciate that and secondly did you find it daunting overwhelming suffocating how's that journey been for you because I know you wanted to convey a message to people out there that they can do this too right right so at first, uh, when my dad told me, hey, you should start you know, a business, uh, maybe there's work, you can learn from it, that's the most important thing, is learning how to machine to become better at it, uh, gain relationships with people not in, the, in our business, but uh, you know, opening up a, uh, a company like this, is, it seemed daunting at first. You know, I, I never done any accounting in my life, I never done any like, legal stuff in my life, but, you know, after doing all that and establishing yourself, it's, it's very rewarding. But um, I know most people are not, are not in my position where they have two pieces of brand new equipment laying around. But um, right now, I mean, it was, with your determination, you know, nothing's, nothing's limit. I mean, everything's limitless. So you know, the sky is not the limit. 
I agree. I agree. Get past the stars and into the universe and multiverse and whatever we believe in, right? right. The sky is not the limit. I absolutely agree with you. So. What about your company do you think is unique, where you stand out, where you can support some of the viewers? If they want to reach out to you and go, man, that Harit dude, he's a pretty cool guy. I'd love to work with him. Talk a little bit about what you guys do, your company, and where you stand out to support the guys out there. Sure. So, you know, we offer basic injection molding. We can make our injection mold, or we can make an injection mold in-house, all R&D in-house. Uh, we, uh, we do machining. Any type of machining, uh, we can conform to any quality systems that you guys have. Uh, we're a small shop, but we're, we, we pack a punch. And uh, we also do engineering consultation if you need any sort of revisions, any sort of you know, re-engineering, uh, reverse engineering. Uh, we do all that in-house. Well, Harit, 30 years of family business, growing up in the industry, playing with the manual machines, going to an elite and great university, majoring in engineering, launching your own company, I would believe that there are some people inspired to want to get in touch with you. So what websites or socials, what can you give out to the sure. global audience watching right now so that they can contact you? Sure, right now our website's still under construction as we're, our, my business has been only nine, or, yeah, nine months old now. So uh, website's just launching, but you can contact us through the email. It's uh, Gentech Solutions LLC at gmail.com. Perfect. Well, Harit, I really appreciate you sharing this. I hope some of the folks out there that are watching right now can feel that maybe that stress or that pressure of going out on their own removed a little bit or just maybe a, a brick removed, right? right. No, it's not that daunting. We can do it. Yes, you have two brand new machines, but with a little focus and dedication, there's a lot of financing out there. Methods is great at financing as well and supporting it. So we're at Methods right now with all these fantastic machines, right? Yep. I can only imagine as you look into the future of your business, you'd want to have a long-term partner with lots of opportunities for different machines and support and service and great sales guys. I would imagine that's why you're wandering around here today and looking at all these machines, right? Yeah, you're correct. So we've done enough to, well, we're projecting next year to buy another piece of equipment. That's how you know, successful I've been at it. And uh, so Methods is offering a in-house, um, an in-house demonstration. And we, my dad and I thought take a great, a great ganter around and see if Methods has the next machine for us. You're the man, I appreciate it. Thanks you for sharing. You are amazing. On behalf of MTD, let me just wish you all the success and luck moving forward. And if there's ever anything we can do for you, please let us know. Thank you, we will do.